Hello Cancer, welcome to another love reading. This is going to be a reading all about how your person is thinking or feeling about you, about the connection. We're also going to take a look at what energies or intentions they have towards you. As always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Cancer watching. Just take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation. Let's get into it. Spirits, angels, guides, messages for Cancer, please. When it comes to love, let's get the energy surrounding your connection. Let's get the energy surrounding this connection. This reading will be for those of you who are already in a connection or have someone in mind. Message you have for Cancer. Victory lap. I want this one too. Wow, and happy ending. Wow. What amazing cards to get. The happy ending card is like my card, my oracle card for 10 of cups and victory lap is like the six of wands. So amazing success, abundance. You're literally getting your happy ending. Wow. Let's just end it right there. Right, Cancer? <laughs> All right. So let's jump into the tarot. So for this reading, I have one deck for you, Cancer, and one deck for your person. So we're going to start with you. Uh, feel free to flip this these energies if they resonate more for you All right spirit what message do you have for cancer what can you tell me about cancer's energies and its connection what is cancer thinking or feeling when it comes to this other person with this connection tell me about cancer king of wands reverse Ten of Swords. Oh. What else? Two of Wands. Wow. I just heard Precipice. You're at the Precipice. Okay. You're at the Precipice. Bottom of the deck. Justice. Leaper Energy. So something's going to be fair and balanced to you. But I feel like this is all related to a path that you have to choose. So you can have two options here. This could be past, future, old, new. Two very different paths. These, these paths, whatever path you choose will lead you some, somewhere different. And this is after some sort of ending here with the Ten of Swords. So let's get one card here for your energies. Tell me about Cancer's energy spirit. Oh, okay. Tell me about ooh, the dragon. Okay. Tell me about Cancer's energies. It's Cancer's energy in this connection. Butterfly. So you're going through some sort of change, transformation. Things are changing for you here. This is the energy that you're in. Let's put down your person's energies. And then we'll clarify each of your energies here. Tell me about the person that Cancer is dealing with, Spirit. What are their energies at this time? person that Cancer is in a connection with. Starfish. Hmm. I have the mouse at the bottom. Nervous energy with the starfish. The starfish is, um, the outside looks nice and shiny, but it might be very different than what's on the inside. So the outside doesn't necessarily reflect what's inside. Do it like this so I have more room here. Tell me about this person that Cancer is dealing with. Can you tell me about this person's spirit? Tell 
Give me a pound, sir. About this person that cancer is dealing with spirit what are they thinking or feeling when it comes to cancer or this connection what do we need to know about their energies page of cups the hermit reverse virgo energy what else can we get for this person seven of cups so they have a choice too. They're evaluating their options. So what is this? With the Page of Cups, they have emotions, feelings to express here. Ten of Cups. Just cut the deck and there it was. For some reason I can't shuffle. So let's clarify cancer. Let's clarify your energies here. And then we'll look at your person. That King of Wands reverse. Throwing me off a little bit. Typically they uh they get themselves into trouble. They're, they're an energy of jumping in, uh being kind of impulsive, not really thinking of the consequences, angry. You know, so this could be the energy that you find yourself in, or this is how you are thinking of this other person. Or perhaps this is someone else in your life. Why is the King of Wands reverse? Why is the King of Wands reverse? Four of Pentacles. Why is the King of Wands reverse? King of Swords reverse. Deception. Bottom of the deck, we have the Strength card, Leo Energy. And right behind that, the Seven of Swords Reverse. Yikes. Someone got caught doing something they shouldn't have been doing. Someone could have been holding back the truth from you here. Can you tell me one more, please, for this King of Wands Reverse? The star, Aquarius energy. The queen of source reverse at the bottom. The world reverse. Interesting. So I feel like healing, hope, faith, renewal with the star. But why the Queen of Swords reverse at the bottom of the deck? What's going on here? The Magician. Interesting. Either you are trying to manifest healing this or they are. Tell me about this Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Judgment reverse. I see some of swords here. Oh, Queen of Wands reverse. This was difficult. I don't know if this is with this person specifically, but you've dealt with someone difficult. You've probably even made a mistake here. Maybe your judgment was blocked. Yeah, a tower happened and it led to possibly a breakup with the lovers reverse. There, I think there was deception here. Someone here didn't think about what they were doing and it kind of blew up in their face. I don't know if this is you or your person. Take it as it resonates. But it led to an ending or this is happening right now. Tell me about the two of wands. The Devil Reverse, Capricorn Energy. Why is the Two of Wands here? Three of Cups. Why is the Two of Wands here? 
The Emperor, Ares Energy. Okay, some of you are dealing with two people. Others of you, this choice is just about getting back control over the situation. You're leaving something behind that wasn't balanced, wasn't fair to you. Your intuition is probably speaking to you here. You've been heartbroken, disappointed. But yeah, I feel like this is someone coming in to apologize with this Knight of Cups or to at least communicate something to you here. And after that, I have the Ace of Pentacles. You're serious. Maybe this is what you desire. But I feel like this is you doing this, like you're taking control. Or you're dealing with someone here new, like if, if you are in that boat of be, having more than two people, this emperor is like leagues ahead of this king of wands reverse, king of swords reverse. Can I get one more for this emperor? What's this emperor doing here? What's this emperor doing here, spirit? Yeah, the justice reverse. This is about restoring balance. Yep, there's a 10 of cups reverse. So something here hasn't been fair or balanced. It's been heartbreaking instead. Interesting, we had a happy ending here with the you know, 10 of swords and a 10 of cups reverse. Maybe at some point, this was something that had potential for a happy ending. Maybe someone, hmm. maybe this is where you're headed and you don't really know because you have the two of wands here, which tells me, I don't think you've made that choice yet. You're evaluating because something here isn't working. A tower drop, 10 of swords, something here wasn't working. Devil reverse, you know, this is about a change, leaving something. So what? It, where does this person come in is what I want to know. Let me clarify, Spirit. For cancer. Tell me about this Page of Cups. What's this Page of Cups about? Oh, okay, I got two. Ten of Swords! And the Five of Swords, Jesus. This is somebody, <laughs> sorry for that reaction. I hope nobody was wearing headphones. I think that this is this person caused this ending and it was through some sort of deception, sneakiness, something like that. There's conflict here. Tell me more about the Page of Cups. Yep, Five of Pentacles. They're out in the cold. They're struggling without you. So they're having a hard time, but I feel like they know why. <laughs> and that's why the Page of Cups is here. I think this is them trying to apologize, trying to heal the situation at the Four of Swords. And look at that, the Six of Wands behind that. I think they're the ones that want this victory lap. They want their happy ending back. Tell me about the Hermit Reverse. Where's the Hermit Reverse? Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Trying to make something work here with Temperance, taking their sweet time, being patient. Seven of Swords Reverse again. I don't know if you can trust this person. Didn't we have a reading like this recently? The Hierophant, Taurus energy. Why is the Hierophant here? Bottom of the deck, Six of Swords. This person got caught doing something. I hope it wasn't something where they had another commitment.
this could also be somebody that wants to put on like their best face forward. Um, they are trying to do things right, um, following the rules, being, you know, upstanding and moral and, you know, turning a new leaf kind of thing. But the Seven of Swords is reverse. So take that with a worry and assault. Why is the higher font here? Why is the higher font here? Eight of Swords reverse. Breaking free. The devil reverse again. Three of Swords reverse. Oh my gosh, I hope this isn't a third party situation. Did they have someone else? Something here. They're breaking free of something with the devil reverse. And then they have the three of swords reverse with the nine of wands reverse. They have the fool behind that. Spirit, tell me about this eight of swords reverse. What's this about? I don't think I like where this is going. Nine of swords. <laughs> Okay, maybe this is mental. Maybe this is um, overcoming their fear about commitment. But there's the fear again, so I don't... Okay. Eight of Pentacles, reverse King of Pentacles. <laughs> Interesting. Something is not working or something needs a lot more effort here with the Eight of Pentacles, reverse. A lot of energy needs... More energy needs to be put in. King of Pentacles, typically for me, they're already in a commitment. Uh, this King of Pentacles is not this King of Wands, King of Swords, reverse. So this is could be the how they're, what they're trying to work on, you know? Again, that, that energy that I got earlier of trying to be upstanding and put their best face forward. Why is the Seven of Cups here? What's the Seven of Cups about? I think they're trying to work on being a, a better option or they know that they have to rebrand whoa what did, where did that come from <laughs> that's the message i got okay tell me about the seven of cups oh the two of wands reverse so they're making some sort of choice here tell me about the seven of cups yep the fool whoop oh wow nine of pentacles freedom independence yeah this is about i feel being free of something i still i keep getting that message um ten of wands reverse yep they need to let something go so your person needs to let something go i hope it's not another commitment because something's fishy about that um, you know, over here especially, like if this is someone trying to overcome their fear, but then there's a Knight of Swords, this tells me that they're not, this isn't working, you know? They're not really overcoming the difficulty or seeing a way out of their situation. It's like almost like whenever they think of a way out, the, the fear kind of makes them back up again. And then of course we have the Eight of Pentacles reverse. So that tells me something here is not right. But on the outside, we have a King of Pentacles, you know, starfish. On the outside, things look great. This person here is thinking about breaking free of something in order to be free, independent. This is like ultimate like freedom here. No more baggage with the fool. They want their, they want to have a happy ending with you, but they know that they've done something that's put them in the doghouse here. So where is all of this headed? Let's see. Where is all of this headed? Let me use this to... Spirit, where is all of this headed? For Cancer and this other person. What's next? For this connection in the near future. Let's see. Let's see what's going to happen next here. I didn't even ask my question, but I'm going to take it. What's next for this connection, Spirit? At the Four of Cups. What's next for this connection in the near future? Okay, we got the Hermit. Virgo Energy. What's next? Someone's really trying to seek 
answers, trying to figure out with the hermit what they're going to do next. The tower reverse. Okay, we got the two of wands again at the bottom of the deck. Behind that, we have the page of cups and the high priestess. So once again, I feel like this person wants to apologize. I think this tower is connected to the two of wands on your end here. Maybe you caused a tower or you initiated this tower moment. But more than anything, what I'm seeing is like your person trying to avoid that tower from falling or, you know, figure something out here with the hermit. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. I feel like this is what they want to do. They want to bring you a nice big offer that it's almost like an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting these weird like sayings. <laughs> Um, but with the Four of Cups, I just don't know. Maybe you're not interested. Maybe um, you've checked out. You know, all of it's going to be different for all of you. Um, I feel like this person is trying to figure a way or, or trying to make this offer really a good one. One that maybe um, will make you kind of change your mind, you know, interest you again. Otherwise, I'll leave it there. Cancer, thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy these readings and want to see more. Leave me a comment if it resonated for, for you, and I'll see you on another video very soon. Take care.